Aw oh, yeah, look at that giant prawn. This is a bling bling noodle dish. Eating great noodles like this makes me realize how much Vietnamese food I've been missing out on this whole time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in Orange County, specifically in Westminster, because I'm gonna be checking out a rockin' Vietnamese restaurant. Behind me is 405 Noodle Pot. This is a restaurant that I've been very curious to try. If some of you remember recently, I was at this buffet restaurant on this other side called 98 Shabu and Grill. And I saw this restaurant to the left and I was like, wow, it looks so interesting. So this restaurant specializes in Vietnamese style noodles of all different kinds. And they also have Vietnamese style hot pot. So if you guys wanna see one of the best uh, Vietnamese noodle and hot pot restaurants that you can find in Orange County, then you've certainly come to the right episode. So I encourage you, stick all the way to the end because this is a Vietnamese noodle seafood house that you don't wanna miss. I'm gonna show you some great stuff. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And I am so eager to try this Vietnamese noodles. Yeah, here we go. So I guess the story behind this restaurant is that it's been around for over 15 years, but they recently came to this spot and it's pretty nice. And I also heard that their hot pot uh, can be served individually too. So you can get a small one for one person. So you don't need two or three people to come enjoy this restaurant. It's good for just about everybody. Oh, I heard that if you order four entrees here, you can get one entree for free. So I think I'm gonna go that route because there's a lot of things I wanna eat here. They do have a lot of sweet appetizers on the menu. So I decided to take advantage of it. This is calamari with tempura and fish balls in these two sauces. The right one is the uh, sweet chili sauce and the left one is the chili saute. Oh man, they all look so good. That was like so crispy. Like lightly battered and the sweet chili adds that beautiful sweet and gooey taste. I mean, you've had sweet chili before, right? It's a really awesome dipping sauce. It goes good on like fried chicken wings, everything. That's a mouthful. I think this is the first time I've had fish balls outside of hot pot, whether it's Chinese or Vietnamese or anything. As an appetizer, it's, it's pretty rocking. It's like seafood filling inside. It's very similar tasting to that fish ball. So far, everything on this appetizer plate is really delicious. I like it. You should definitely get some appetizers because it's really good. It's uh, bite-sized, they're individually portioned, and uh, it's just enjoyable all around. Oh yeah, so now I got my noodles. So both of this is number six on the menu. You can get it dry or you can get it with the soup, but I decided to get both of them. So basically we got noodles with the huge prawn shrimp. Look how big that prawn shrimp is, oh yeah. Well, along with some squid, pork, quail egg, fish cake, wonton, even heart, like pork heart. Okay, and ground pork. And this one pretty much has the same thing, but with the pork broth in it. So a little bit more like ramen style. So it is worth noting that they bring out this pork soup with your dry noodles. The dry noodles I heard you can pretty much eat by itself, but if you want to make it a little soupier, just toss a little bit of this inside of here and you're good to go. So if you guys are into dry noodles, they also got this one, which is the garlic noodles. And it comes with shrimp and some giant prawn. I love the presentation. Oh, it's, it feels so good when you drink that. So it is like some sort of a pork broth that's been cooked for about four to six hours. And I heard that they make it fresh every day. So nothing is left over. Oh, wow, this is crazy. Look, there really are two different kinds of noodles in here like the egg noodle, as well as the vermicelli noodles. Mm. 
that really reminds me of something out of like those Cantonese and Chichao restaurants that I've eaten in the past. Oh yeah, this is a dish you definitely need to get here. The combination of the soup and the broth is just, whew, it's enjoyable. It really is. So I guess with this, you just have to break it apart and peel it. I mean, there's really no other way around it. I haven't had that shrimp in a long time. I always tend to enjoy it. It always feels like you're in a very upscale dining experience. So it definitely elevates this noodle dish, like really elevates it. I am so happy just eating the soup version, but I also wanna try the dry version too, because this one is good also from what I heard. That is just so, wow. That house sauce is good. It's like sweet and soy saucy and uh, you know, that oyster sauce flavor all at the same time. So if you guys really want, you can take it and dip it into the pork broth. Now it tastes just like this one. But I would say it tastes a little bit more than that because now you have the added flavor of the house sauce with the pork broth together, which I think actually now you have an enhanced flavor. I don't even know what to get next time if I were here with this one or the dry one because the dry one is a knockout as well. They don't cut corners around here. I mean, they use large prawns here. They even have these big pork pieces with the bone inside of it. And that thing is so soft, it's like melts in your mouth. This is really like an awesome, awesome Vietnamese noodle experience. <laughs> As if that weren't enough, look, there's also the garlic noodles. Okay, so yeah, it, it has the, that chewiness of the garlic noodles I've had in the past. And what's cool is that they also put these huge pieces of prawn, you see that? Bam. It seems like they have these huge prawns on like just about every noodle dish. Check this out, even more food. I'm not joking. I feel like I'm in a buffet in some ways. This one I think is a new item on the menu. It's called the Komka salmon, which is salmon over this, uh, I think it's king oyster mushrooms. It looks very delicious. And then this one is their shaken beef with French fries. And this one is the udon noodles. Look at that giant prawn just sticking out with some shrimp and there's pork in there. And I think this one is a little bit spicy from what I heard. So I guess with the shaken beef, you just have to pick up with your chopsticks maybe? That's always a dilemma that I had with Asian dishes that have French fries in it. I don't know wh whether to pick it up with my fork or with my fingers or using chopsticks. Have you guys ever thought the same way as well? That one is very enjoyable. Just for the fact that there's steak inside here. I feel like anything steak, to me, it's like, it's good. <laughs> Unless it's really lousy steak, but this is pretty good, soft steak. So this one you could eat with steamed rice, but it comes with this right here, which is some sort of uh, fried rice. I, I wanna say it's like egg fried rice. Oh, good compliment. Because I feel that this one has a very light flavor. So this complements the heavier flavor of the beef one quite well, actually. So they got beef, they got salmon, and this one looks pretty killer too. Wow, that salmon's kind of crispy. The inside tastes like salmon. So no surprise there. But it's the outside, it's like, there's actually quite a crisp to it. That sweet oyster sauce works so good with that king oyster mushroom. And I didn't really expect to find udon in a Vietnamese restaurant. You have to be kind of careful there because these udons are super slippery, even more so than the Japanese version. And in here, you're gonna have no shortage of seafood. They got a lot of shrimp in here. Shrimp, pork, squid. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
I can tell this is definitely a restaurant for seafood lovers and it's good seafood too. So this whole time that I've been eating all this food, I totally forgot about my sugar cane drink. It's like organic sugar right there. And I heard that if you buy one drink, you can actually get one free. You're like, what? Apparently it's true. They have this deal going on here at this restaurant where you can buy one drink and you can get another one for free. I don't know how much longer that deal is going to be. So yeah, that's why maybe you want to come in soon just so that you can get this. You guys might think I'm crazy, but I also decided to get their hot pot. Oh yeah. So just letting you know, this is the $18 small size, good for one person, which is why this pot is fairly small. I got their most popular one, which is number one in the hot pot section, the Thai hot pot. So it's like a, a Tom Yum type of soup base. And for the proteins, they have sliced beef along with the seafood like shrimp, squid, crawfish, Let's see, mussels, all that good stuff. And then on this side, we have our veggies. See the cabbages with the mushrooms? Yes, and they even add this into, these are ramen noodles. So you get a uh, protein as well as a carb experience. It only takes a few minutes for this to cook and it's done. Let me see what this soup base tastes like. Mmm, yeah, it tastes just like uh, like almost like a Tom Yum soup in some ways with that lemongrass flavor, but a little bit sweeter. I wanna tell you that that restaurant next door, it's pretty much the same ownership and they have all you can eat hot pot at that restaurant. So if you want this, but you wanna do all you can eat, then my recommendation will probably be go next door. <laughs> the beef slices are also something that you should watch over because these you don't wanna cook way too long. It's also very hot. Ooh, so you gotta be careful. Yikes. And here's something else I don't have with my hot pot that often, this white fish. This is definitely super comfort food when you eat it. So when you come to this restaurant, what would you get? Would you get a noodle dish or would you get an individual hot pot? Drop that comment, I'd love to hear your story. I'm enjoying everything that they have here. So yeah, if you are in Orange County and you are looking specifically for really good Vietnamese noodles, Vietnamese hot pot, appetizers, drinks, everything, it's all here at 405 Noodle Pot. And what I really love about this restaurant is just the deals they got going on here. Like order four entrees, get one for free. I had to take advantage of that, which is why I ordered so much food. Even the buy one drink, get one free, you can tell they, they really care about the customers here. Like they just really want to uh, take care of the customers, make them feel happy. I feel happy being here. They're just treating me so well here. Yeah, so I would really highly recommend this spot. It's really been a surprise to me. I really enjoy it a lot. And I'm pretty sure you guys will as well. All right guys, so before I close out this episode, I wanna give a shout out. This is Jordan right here. He's the manager here at this restaurant. So when you mention this episode to him, him and the staff, they're gonna give you something very special. What is it, Jordan? Come on in and get any free scoop of ice cream if you mention Rockstar Eater. And this is Fossil Mint ice cream, by the way, so you're getting the real deal here. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching this, guys. You know what to do. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.